This ain't no intro, it's the entree. Hit that end. Hey, this is Virgie, and welcome to my channel. From Houston, like Auntie Yonce. Man, my daughter couldn't have a better mother. What up, guys? This is V's Kicks back with another video for you. So, today's video is going to be about a order I just received like a day ago from Yeezy Supply. But before we get into this video, I want to give a shout out to my homie um, who is the creator of Denial Clothing. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. So make sure you guys go check her out. Really, really dope. Um, this is one of the tees from her site. She has tees, hoodies, socks. So definitely go check out Denial Clothing um, and cop you something from that site. Back to the video. So this video is going to be about my purchase from Yeezy Supply. Now, most of you guys are sneakerheads, so I'm pretty sure that you know. Maybe about like two weeks ago now, the Adidas and Yeezy Supply site did a really big restock on a bunch of different Yeezys, uh, 350s, um, Yeezy uh the 500s um i don't think i saw any 750s or anything like that and they also did a restock on the yeezy powerhouse now most of the ones that i was able that i wanted wasn't able to cop the only one that i was able to get through one was the yeezy powerhouse now the yeezy powerhouse is not something that i really really wanted it honestly looks like that old school Reebok classic shoe that your grandma and your auntie and probably your mama worked out in back in the day um, This joint right here. That's honestly what the Yeezy powerhouse looks like But I got through I was like whatever all black Yeezy I can rock it whatever blah 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 got through and ordered it now The shoe only retails for like $120 which isn't that bad but I definitely could have saved my coins on this purchase now Yeezy Supply is an official site like I do believe that it is Kanye West's official site where you can go and cop his merchandise I have been a little leery of the site in the past nothing really based in anything real I just I don't know I just always kind of felt sketchy about the site um but I've never been able to cop anything most of the times everything sells out before I'm able to get it so this is the first time that I've been able to cop anything from the Yeezy supply site so this restock happened on August 2nd I believe I got through ordered the shoe took out my payment the same day and everything and then it said you know you will receive a email confirmation once your order ships so Ordered the shoe August 2nd. Don't get a ship confirmation until like August maybe 11th or something. So that is like extremely long. Typically, you know, when you order a shoe, typically if I'm ordering a shoe online, I'm typically ordering it from like the sneakers app or Nike and shipping is never that long. So that already kind of like ticked me off, but I figured it would be long since it was such a big restock, whatever. But that still was kind of like a really long time. Like I almost took like two weeks to get the dang on shoe in so the shoe comes in now i've never had a yeezy powerhouse before but opening up the shoe i was just like this 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 is this is just not right and and i still haven't gotten any official word on if this is right or not the only thing that i have to go off of is other videos that i've seen on youtube of the shoe and like some images of the shoe but something not right. And I'm not saying that they sent me fakes. What I really think they sent me is a worn shoe, like a used shoe. I think they sent me a shoe somebody already had worn, did whatever with, sent it back to them. And I think they sent it to me. Now, if they marketed the shoe as that, cool. Like, whatever. I can't be expecting to receive a new shoe. But that's not what you guys were promoting on your website. Like, then this shoe was retail. Like, no way I'm paying retail for a used Yeezy powerhouse shoe. Like, this is nothing special. So, I'm not paying retail for this if this was a used shoe. Now, again, this is not official. Like, I don't have any official work. That's what it is. But this is just what I'm left to believe because this is straight trash can water okay so anyway we'll, we'll, we'll look at the shoe and maybe you guys who maybe are a little bit more knowledgeable of you know the shoe can like let me in on something that maybe i'm missing but anyway so they shipped the shoe in this plain box here which 
it's fine um i'm actually this is probably the only thing that i'm okay with um because you know nike loves to put all the nike branding on the box so i do like that it came in this plain brown box no adidas branding no easy branding nothing you know look like it's just just a regular i don't know box from anywhere so then the the shoe came in this black adidas box right here um and then here you can see where it says like uh yeezy powerhouse size and color blah 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 now when i opened this box getting this box wasn't that that alarming for me because like i said i had never seen this shoe in hand before so i didn't know what box it like originally came with but going and looking back at some other youtube reviews of this shoe it came and i i don't think i have the box but i'll put a picture of it here um i do have the box but i think i might have thrown it away the type of box that this came in it came in that adidas blue and white box that's what this shoe came in um and so but again first opening it i didn't know that so i didn't know that maybe this was the box that it came in didn't know um so anyway opening the shoe you know you got your regular tissue paper there whatever and then here is the actual shoe now probably coming off on camera you probably don't see anything alarming but We'll get into some B-roll shots of it. But the bottom of that shoe already, it, it looks worn. Another thing is there is no tag on the shoe. Now, I was like, okay, you know, every all the Yeezys that I currently have are the Yeezy 350. So I'm like, maybe the tags only come on the Yeezy 350s. But I went and I looked at reviews. And on the reviews, I can't remember if it was the right or the left shoe, but it had that Yeezy tag that you know so i think it might say yeezy it might say the size i'm not sure but it has this white tag on it this shoe neither shoe came with the tag on it so then i'm like what the heck then there's some like i'm gonna try to get some closer shots of this so you guys maybe can see but it's some some scrapes here it's some scuffs on the side of the shoe again both bottoms of the shoe look dirty and i have not worn these shoes outside of the house i literally just tried one shoe on um but i haven't worn the shoe outside of the house so i haven't stepped in any dirt or anything um so i'm sure i am not the cause of this especially not the scrapes and scuffs on the side of the shoe and you know i've been buying shoes for a while so i know that sometimes you get shoes and they have flaws on them but i don't think that's the case here now again i don't think the shoe is fake because again i do think yeezy supply is an official site you know for kanye west so i don't think that they're fake but i think that maybe somebody returned this shoe and they sold it to me and you know, if you take into account the bottoms, you know, the scuffs and scrapes on the side of the shoe. And then this box, like this is not the box the shoe came in when it originally released. Now, maybe since they did this restock, they changed the box, but that's that's the, typically not something that I'm used to seeing them changing the box that the shoe comes in, you know, once the shoe has a restock, I don't know. But I just don't like it. And then it also didn't come with any type of receipt or packing slip. And I, that's something else that I'm not used to. Like typically if I get a shoe from Nike, uh, from Finish Line, from whomever, they typically put a receipt or packing slip in the box. Because if I wanted to go, like, I don't, this shoe was only going for like 70 bucks on StockX or whatever. So I'm pretty sure I'm not, I'm not trying to resell the shoe. That's not the purpose of buying it. I really was just trying to get it as a like a Yeezy beater um, to just throw on whenever or whatever. But if I wanted to sell this shoe, like it would be really hard for me to resell this shoe because it didn't come with any pack and slip. It doesn't have the Yeezy tag on there. And then this box, like, what? Like, come on now, like, did you outsource this restock to China or something? Like what's going on here? Like, I'm just, I'm highly confused. They are, you know, kind of respond. I've, so I've started the email thread with them. They're kind of responding. It's taking a long time. You know, I went in and it, the only option I really had was return. Even though once you buy the shoe, it says like all sales are final, yada, yada, yada. But 
the only option that they really give you is to hit return. The other options is like for tracking info. And I can't remember what the other one was, but the only one that I could really like talk to someone through is if I did return. So immediately you do, the, I hit the return and say, you know, put your order in and it immediately let me know that my purchase wasn't available for a return. But I, you know, I get, there was a, you know, little portion where I could type in some comments and I told them like, you know, I have some issues with this shoe. You know, can you guys please explain? They responded with like an automated response. Um, you know, we'll get to you in five business days, like. Okay, y'all took my money out the same day, but now that I got questions, I gotta wait five business days, but whatever. So, someone responded like the next day and was like, hey, um, please send some pics of the shoe um, and we'll get back with you. So, I, I need to actually take pics of the shoe today so that I can send to them. I might see if I could drop this video on them and so they could watch the video, but it's just like, this is ridiculous. Like, if this... Again, if this is how the shoe is supposed to look, if it's supposed to have that worn, busted kind of, not really busted, but worn, scuffed up kind of look, drop some comments down below. Let me know, because this is my first time seeing this shoe in hand. I've only ever seen pictures, you know, of this shoe. Um, so drop some comments down below if I'm missing something, if I'm crazy here, and this is how the shoe is supposed to look, and it's not supposed to come with the Yeezy tag, and it's supposed to come in this black and white box. If you guys know that, drop some comments down below and let me know because I am honestly confused. Like, yes, it's not, you know, the price of the other Yeezys. Like, I think the 350s are like, I think they're normally like 220 or whatever, 230 with tax. So this shoe was like 100 bucks, but still, like, I want a brand new shoe because that's what you guys were marketing. And this just does not seem like a brand new shoe. Like, I think somebody wore this shoe at least one time. And I was like, nah, I don't like these and sent them back to them. And then they restocked. Like, I feel like maybe this restock was all restocks. Of one, but no, I can't say that because I did see somebody else who bought some stuff. And they stuff looked legit. They had the tags on it. Looked fresh. Didn't look. So, I don't know. I think they played me. That's what I think. I, I want my money back. They can have these shoes back. And I want my money back. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think I'm probably going to take these pictures, send them to them. And they probably going to say some bull crap. I don't know. But I really want my money back. Because I really i am not happy with this purchase from Yeezy Supply. And I will never purchase from Yeezy Supply again. Typically, every Yeezy that I have gotten has come from Foot Locker. Um, I'll, I'll hit on the Foot Locker's app. Go to Foot Locker. Pick them up. That's it. Um, I've never got any hit anything on the adidas app or yeezy supply for yeezys um and maybe for good reason like because i'm never going to shop with yeezy supply again like even aside from this me thinking that you know the shoe is worn or used or whatever it took almost two weeks to get the shoe like that's ridiculous like nike out here sending the shoes in like a day like come on dog like Yeah, really pissed off. I'm really pissed off. But anyway. That's all I got for this video, guys. Um, this is not the video that I wanted to post next. Um, but I just had to come and do this because this is on my heart right now. It's heavy on my heart. And I had to come and let you guys see this. Maybe this is God's way of telling me I need to stop purchasing shoes. But But anyway, guys, that is all I have for this video. Um I do have some videos in, in mind that I want to drop next. Um, I know I kind of just like came back and then say, hey, I'm back or nothing like that. Um, I am in the new spot, you know, from like the last, last videos that I was posting. You guys know that I was moving and buying a new house and all of that. So we're finally in the new spot. I am going to post a empty out house tour. Um, I actually did film the empty house tour. We moved in this place in March so it's been a little while and I actually do have that video or well, I have had already have the video shot because the house clearly isn't empty anymore but I do have the empty house tour footage I need to edit it and get that together but I actually think I'm gonna do it a little bit different since it's so old um but I am gonna get that you know out to you guys and then you know show you the new sneaker chill room setup and all of that so stay tuned Thank you guys for watching. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace. I guess you knew it blew a good thing, baby. Bye, baby.